Hey everyone, welcome back. Here's what we're checking out today. Tesla Semi driving 500 miles fully loaded on one single charge. This is pretty exciting for us though. This is like a two minute video and it's supposed to be really good. So I watched a little bit of the event last night. I even tried to live stream, but it didn't went too well. So I do apologize, but at least we can talk about the live stream now. Talk about the event. Great things happen. Great things. Great information as well. Let's get this video started, shall we? Let's turn that music down as much as we can. Let's get this thing started now. Okay, so looks like they just uh, just finished loading the vehicle and uh, looks like they're just about to drive. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty pretty cool. So this is what the cabin looks like officially. Not gonna lie, that looks dope. And of course. A lot of the aesthetic looks very similar to Tesla. The dashboard and the the um the air vents looks very similar to a Tesla vehicle. I'm looking at both angles. I'm seeing they've got the rear they've got the rear view mirror, but also they have uh cameras cameras built into the vehicle. So that's even more awesome. I also noticed that the driver is using the display sometimes. I think he's definitely tapping the display sometimes, but that's uh, that's very interesting. It's going to be interesting to see if they allow these in the UK. That 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 that'll be interesting. Um, it is it is pretty damn dope. You know, the driver sits in the center of this vehicle, and that's because of how it's built to cut through the air, and that's essential. You don't really want a big truck like this just pushing the air like that. No, you want a truck like this that's pushing the air. Um creating a creating a, a cool vortice you know um so hence in in that reason um that would be literally um that would help the vehicle create less drag and less drag means that it saves a lot of energy a lot of battery and with this truck it saves even more battery because listen 500 miles on a single charge i don't know about you but that's damn impressive that is damn impressive so that was the end of the video. Let's see if they posted any other videos. Apart from that, I found some other stuff. These are some other vehicles Tesla was testing. That's awesome as well. That is bloody awesome. We've got a video to go with it as well. Just a Tesla Semi um, hauling a huge uh, tractor. It's pretty good. Well, it's parked up now, but it, it's clearly um, it was either hauling it or it's about to. That is that's as dope as it gets what what was really nice that they said during the presentation last night they basically said that tesla will be using these vehicles for their own um purposes tesla will be using these vehicles for the for the tesla companies for the for the tesla fleet look at that just an example of how powerful uh a tesla truck versus a normal gas or petrol engine truck it just breeze past without with ease and that's and what i like is that the load behind is visible so there is no like oh we don't know what's inside so we're not sure if it if that qualifies no that's a lot of load that's a lot of load that's some heavy stuff that's a lot of load so tesla isn't afraid to put these vehicles through their paces and i just love to see it this is as cool as it gets this is as cool as it gets seriously and a tweeter just says tesla semi passing ice trucks like it's nothing really and truly like it's nothing that was quite incredible another one uh tesla, tesla gallery now has nine new quality high quality photos and seven videos of tesla semis let's let's check it out so um let's check out the let's check out the photos that's that's a that's a tesla that's a tesla bot but let's check out the photos these are the photos yeah not bad some of the on stage event obviously a lot of these trucks are going to pepsi uh, i think pepsi is probably the first customer this is very exciting very exciting for tesla for pepsi for future partnerships if these trucks prove to be quite useful the only difference is that refueling trucks it's going to be it's going to be a bit different because this is another video just going through a nice splash let's let's bring this up on the screen oh wow look at that look at that they probably had some gopros attached um 
probably so that's the motor wow <laughs> wow the times are really changing ladies and gents times are really changing so what tesla is doing is just showing us as so they're really testing these things to the maximum but these are the motors the, these are our motors um yeah these are our motors and it's but of course the most expensive parts of these trucks are the motors and uh, the lithium lithium batteries of course uh, so that's the this one gives you twice as much acceleration um, drive unit gives you plenty more acceleration and this one is highway driving units mmm that's quite that's quite interesting uh, that is very interesting Tesla technology ladies and gents Tesla technology so this is what I meant when I said the Tesla semi is way more aerodynamic versus a normal pickup truck a normal pickup truck is just has a big hood but the Tesla truck everything just cuts over it just it's a nice gradient and that just creates a lot of slipstream and a lot of um a lot of good vortexes not to mention the, the front of the truck is very narrow just cuts the air around it does you know and it's just more efficient as well and what what elon was saying is that these trucks they don't sell a lot um i think cars per year that are being sold is like 100 million but for trucks it's more like 500 500 000 to a million trucks but here's a crazy part trucks are responsible for like 20 percent of all emissions worldwide and that's because trucks are being used 24 sevens trucks are being used non-stop while your car your car isn't being used non-stop you use your car maybe a couple hours a day on average i use my car maybe twice a day sorry i use my car maybe two hours a day on average getting to work getting back that's it um and i don't and i, I work part-time so that's even that's even more interesting so for a lot of people that's it commuting time it's two to four hours so this is this is the footage that we that we saw of the tesla semi just cruising with ease just this guy must be thinking what the f is going on how is that possible because he's never seen anything like that i know trust me I, I drive buses i see i see trucks on a daily basis truck drivers up a hill you don't see anything like that with that much load so, so so listen this is like when you're riding your bicycle and someone with an, an electric bike just passes you and you're like son of a mm. you get mad you're like mm. and the, i used to drive it i used to ride an electric bike and i i could tell when people got mad you know like they i could tell when they were like when they didn't like it one bit i could tell i could tell but uh that's 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 my analogy seriously uh this is this is as cool as it gets i'm not gonna lie okay so we also have this one just um a more in-depth view of the cabin so this is this is quite interesting because in american pickups usually the cabin there is somewhere to sleep but in the tesla semi doesn't seem like there is anywhere to sleep i like what tesla's done with this though they've just brought all of their best technology to trucks oh they had an iphone right there is an iphone right there with a with an apple tablet right there everyone uses them pretty cool uh semi dump wow so is the truck doing that itself the truck is probably doing this itself you know holy crap oh that that's just that's just too good. That that just looks too good. That looks way too good. Oh man, that's good. That is good. That is good. That is very good. Thank you to Testa for sharing these images, bro. This is awesome. But um, not much to see there. Wow, look at look at these model model Ys and model model threes. These are model Ys, I think, because they they look a bit big. So they're probably model Ys. There's probably a couple of Model 3s down there. I don't know. I don't know. These are the batteries. Th those are the batteries. Manufacturing process. Look at that. Look at the assembly line for, for Tesla, bro. This is... I know they have panel gaps. I know the build quality isn't the best. They have to improve it over time. I know the build quality isn't the, isn't the best. Considering what they're doing right now, no other company is doing it. And Why? Because literally no other automaker is doing what Tesla is doing to to the battery modules, 
and all that all gets put into the bed of the vehicle and that all becomes part of the battery components <clears throat> um yeah it's really interesting to see how they how they design these things isn't it i think these are probably the 4680s um cells as well those new cells that tesla was working on for a while i think those might be it uh, along with panasonic i believe they were working with we have to appreciate how where tesla is right now you know i think it was warren buffett or charlie munger recently that was saying tesla is a unicorn like a yes they're doing great but understand how incredibly difficult that is and how rare it is for an automaker to do that well an american automaker has never done what tesla has done that's what every automaker that's that's tried to do something like tesla they've they've been bought by another company or they've just they've just gone into administration or they've gone bankrupt they just can't sustain it that's damn impressive and remember they started making the model s in 2012 or 2013 so this is like a 10 years anniversary to when they start making the model the model s so that's damn impressive what they did over the course of 10 years but as you can see it took time nothing happened overnight it took time and for a long time people were constantly saying is tesla gonna fail is tesla gonna fail is tesla in the end i remember 2013 2014 2015 20 2016 a little bit a lot the constant notion the constant argument was that tesla was going to fail that's the constant report in the news in the papers that's all they talked about was tesla going to fail when are they going to fail people were just starting to find out about tesla people were just starting to find out about bitcoin a bit more yeah it's incredible to see to see the battery cells being created though obviously to say the least they're they're probably the best in the area but look at this engineering look at this complex engineering nothing quite like it i think this is the last footage we are over 17 minutes into this video damn we gotta stop quite soon but it was worth talking about um i think this is one of the tesla our new hq this is tesla new headquarter is this the one in Texas? Because I did hear like a few years ago, they, they said they were moving to Texas. So I think this might be the one in Texas. I love the way they designed their building. That's that's as cool. So that's as cool as it gets. Very cool. Very cool. Had a, had a couple of vehicles on standby. I don't know if that's how all tech uh, Pepsi vehicles will look on the road. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know. But um, th there was the event. I, I thought the event was was pretty cool. The, the CEO and the the other dude that was in charge of the vehicles he was just speaking entirely about um like well for one they were standing on a trailer and they were just speaking entirely about how they're going to use these vehicles for their own fleet and it's 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 amazing so thank you for watching subscribe to see more and i'll see you in our next video peace hope you enjoyed this video subscribe leave a comment as well let us know what to do next